my dear students this is about uh, chemical properties of uh, diazonium salts which involves two major cleavages one is displacement of NO2 group in from diazonium salt first we are talking about displacement of diazo group as we will take one by one yes we are taking every time benzene diazonium chloride n2 plus cl minus treated with HCl and cuprous chloride HCl and cuprous chloride you will get as yes, N2 group is removed and the Cl of Cu enters on benzene ring it follows a free radical mechanism enough no need of uh, other products don't think about balanced equation in this case only okay next one same benzene diazonium chloride with a HBr and CuBr then in this case what is entered on benzene ring what is introduced this N2 group is removed that is a azo group is removed and Br is attached and liberation of nitrogen gas same information benzene diazonium chloride N2 Cl N2 plus Cl minus N2 plus Cl minus then treated with KCN and cuprous cyanide then what is observed very simple benzene ring with the which group attached CN is attached actually introducing of these uh, nucleophiles CL plus CL minus BR minus CN minus uh, such groups are introducing as nucleophiles on benzene is difficult when you take benzene and here it is very easy to prepare chlorobenzene bromobenzene cyanobenzene in this way yes this entire reaction is known as Sandmeyer reaction yes talk about two marks question frequently you have to prepare for PU what is Sandmeyer's reaction yes what you have to write statement one mark one of the equations one mark that is Benzene diazonium chloride Benzene diazonium chloride is treated with reacted with HCl with CuCl or HBr with CuBr to produce what is produced with the CUCL HCL chlorobenzene to give chlorobenzene or bromobenzene or called bromobenzene is called Sandmeyer reaction this you have to practice otherwise no use at all taking these classes two marks question any one of the equations what is the name of the reactant benzene diazonium chloride 
BDC, benzene, diazonium chloride, and this is cyanobenzene, and this is bromobenzene, and this is chlorobenzene. Here, which gas is liberated in this reaction? M2 gas is liberated. M2 gas is liberated. Over. This is about Sandmeyer reaction. Prepare well and get ready to examinations. Right. Similar reaction we have to see, but here catalyst is like this change. That is first reaction and then other things. This is as usual benzene, diazonium chloride. Benzene, diazonium chloride, shortcut, if you have any doubt, BDC is benzene, diazonium chloride. Right, now treated with uh, HCl, in previous case, copper metal, copper, cuprous chloride, cuprous bromide salts are taken. Here, copper metal is taken copper metal and you got benzene ring with a benzene ring with Cl this is chlorobenzene what is the difference? catalyst is difference in the present case HCl with copper metal in the previous case HCl with a CuCl that is Sandmeyer reaction and this is a Gatterman reaction Yes, this is for two marks. You have to prepare. Gatterman reaction. Benzene diazonium chloride treated with HCl in the presence of copper metal give chlorobenzene. This is sufficient. Another one. What is the gas liberated? The gas liberated is N2. Other things are not needed to balance. Same benzene diazonium chloride with the HBr copper metal. Then what is introduced on benzene? So simple it is. Br is introduced and N2 gas is liberated, it is bromobenzene. Yes. If you are treating with a KCl in the presence of copper metal, then you will get benzene diazonium chloride N2 plus. Cl minus benzene diazonium chloride. It is also benzene diazonium chloride. Then you get benzene ring with the, which group? Cn group plus N2 gas is liberated. This entire reaction is known as Gatterman reaction. How do you write the statement? As benzene diazonium chloride treated with benzene diazonium chloride is don't write in the examination in this style you have to write full form benzene diazonium chloride is treated with a HCl in the presence of copper or HBr in the presence of copper to give what are given in the first case what is given in the first case chlorobenzene second case or bromobenzene. This reaction is called what? Suppose this entire reaction is given in the examination. What is the name of the reaction? One word answer to get one mark in the final examination that is Gatterman. For two marks, explain Gatterman reaction. Write any one of the reactions and write. So in the textbook, it is given in a different way. For your friendly learning, this is designed like this. Regarding yield, which is a better one, 
Gettermann or Sandmeyer. So therefore, a key point you have to take Sandmeyer. Sandmeyer reaction get good yields over Gettman reaction. We shall move to one by one. Two equations are over. Third one, one is Sandmeyer, very important. Third one, the second one is a Gettman. Third one we have to take, we are treating with uh, benzene disonium chloride. With uh, H3PO2, do you know the name of this compound? Its name is hypophosphorus acid. Hypo means very low oxygen state, hypophosphorus acid. Right, then what is noticed in this case? This H3PO2 becomes here aqueous solution is also maintaining H2O. Then what is resulted? H3 this benzene disonium chloride taking hydrogen from this H3PO2 and it is used as reducing agent, it reduces benzene disonium chloride into benzene so here what is produced preparation of benzene or getting benzene is possible then other products are important towards examination h3po3 one oxygen becomes h3po4 plus one hydrogen is here acted and n2 gas as usual liberated and hcl gas this is and the name of h3po3 i'm sorry H3PO3 hmm. then this is known as phosphorus acid phosphorus acid yes as the basicity here one hydrogen attached with through oxygen it is replacing only and from this compound one hydrogen is replaced and from this compound two hydrogens are replaced therefore J orientation to be taken that is oxidation state of oxidation state of H3PO2 to H3PO3 this is first year concept actually and how do we catch this one in this case plus 4, 4, 3 plus 1 state 2 plus 3 state. So it undergoes oxidation. It undergoes oxidation means benzene disonium chloride undergoes. Benzene disonium chloride undergoes reduction. It is a redox reaction, yes. And here benzene disonium chloride undergoes a reduction and hypophosphorus acid undergoes oxidation and its basicity, yes, their basicity. Right here, one hydrogen is replaced, the basicity is 1 and its basicity is 2, which is uh, not immediately taken from the formula by ordinary students. Only intelligent students can answer this one. Uh, and then you are all intelligent students, then you can easily catch this one. These are only for NIT point of view or JE point of view exclusively. Over this is. So, how do you convert benzene disonium chloride into benzene? Is a question. Your answer is. This reagent you have to write in the examination that is hypophosphorus acid. Not only hypophosphorus acid, another one is also possible that is benzene disonium chloride. Okay, this uh, JE orientation is over. I would like to make a mark and take another reaction benzene disonium chloride. N2 plus Cl minus is with C2H5OH. What is the name? You are very familiar with the C2H5OH and it is ethyl alcohol. Entire world is 
making friendship with this one under the name sanitizer. So it is ethanol, hala, ethanol, yes. Irrespective of uh, the play, place, everyone is uh, interested to use. Our entire world is uh, roaming around uh, uh, this material, chemical compound, chemistry is playing a role in this present situation that is ethyl alcohol under the name sanitizer, of course other alcohols also there like isopropyl alcohol and other things and it becomes benzene diazonium chloride becomes C6H6 that is benzene and this is converted to CH3CHO yes this is oxidation it undergoes oxidation and the name of the product is acetaldehyde already familiar acetaldehyde and other name is other products are I am sorry other products are N2 plus HCl story is completed so how do you convert benzene diazonium chloride to benzene H3PO2 is possible C2H5OH is also possible then you will get a benzene in two cases no other things Okay, for complete point of view, this compound we have to concentrate along with the main product. Main product is important in PU examination. Along with main product in complete examinations, they may ask some questions on in with respect to other products. The next reaction is with the warming with water. Benzene diazonium chloride is warming with water. Benzene diazonium chloride as water warming. Then what is introduced? Yes, N2 plus is removed, and this is a phenyl carbocation attacked by OH minus, and you got yes, benzene OH. This is called phenol, and other products are yes, H2O broken as OH and H, H with Cl, HCl and other product is a gas is liberated that is N2 no other dis detailed description required next one previous case uh, we are familiar with the uh, conversion of benzene diazonium chloride to chlorobenzene, bromobenzene, iodobenzene but uh, difficult to prepare yes uh, prepare in the same way like either a Sandmeyer or Gatman reaction now we are going to, sorry, chlorobenzene and bromobenzene are only prepared. Now we are going to prepare iodobenzene and fluorobenzene. Therefore, this uh, benzene diazonium chloride is uh, treated with uh, benzene diazonium chloride treated with potassium iodide. Then what is expected by you? Very simple, benzene ring ready to attach with uh, as which group is removed, displacement of diazo group N2 is removed, so that is N2 removed and K combined with Cl, KCl, then this iodine attached on benzene and you got iodobenzene, but no name is associated, only chloro and bromobenzene are prepared by uh, that reaction, but not by Sandmeyer or Gatman reaction, iodobenzene has special one and here HCl, HA is not used, HA is reducing agent that the salt is taken and performed the reaction. Next one, this benzene diazonium chloride is treated with a, an acid. The acid is fluoroboric acid, BHBF4. Its name is fluoroboric acid and there is a salt formed what is that salt form? benzene ring as it is usual and intermediate is formed benzene ring N2 group is there this N2 group is uh, balanced by BF4 this is already we introduced previously and its name is benzene diazonium Tetrafluoroborate or flu fluoroborate. Tetrafluoroborate or simply fluoroborate. Tetra is not mentioned in some books. Now, this mixture is heated. 
sorry at this stage the product undergo heating it gives yes a gas is liberated that is n2 other compounds are formed that is a bf4 becomes bf3 and one f is attached to benzene ring therefore what you have to write this is f name is not given in the ncrt uh, but uh, name is for j purpose only yes the name of the reaction is ball shiman this is ball shiman reaction yes what you are observing uh, preparation of uh, fluorobenzene iodobenzene is not possible by gatterman and sandmeyer this is fluorobenzene if you are interested i would like to continue uh, other things that is uh, this is first prepared now this is heated with a sodium nitrate with copper metal what will happen i would like to make that one as another information i would like to write separately for your better understanding already we observed a reaction in the sixth case we are taking benzene diazonium chloride is treated with a fluoroboric acid this is producing a compound that is n2 plus and bf4 minus name is also available its name is as available uh, you just copy from that one now this is treated with a nano2 copper metal and in o2 copper metal this is heated decomposed and what is resulted as usual boron trifluoride plus sodium fluoride plus n2 gas then the important one is not important one the main one is nothing is important major major and minor like that uh, and this uh, benzene ring is attached to yes n2 is expelled bf4 is converted as bf3 naf and it is attached with uh, no2 what is prepared dear students nitrobenzene is obtained okay this is the information towards uh, uh, removal of n2 group next one is coupling n2 group is uh, present and uh, it is joined with another one that is coupling reactions is the next phase will be taken very soon